Well, J.B. Long here at PK Park in Eugene following the Beavers' 40th win of the season. It clinches the Pac-12 title outright for Pat Casey and his Beavs. Uh, you took it down to the wire, bottom of the ninth inning here against the Ducks as they tried to mount a rally. What was the finish like? Well, it was pretty exciting. I mean, we made it look pretty interesting. They battled their tail off. Um, they're a hell of a club. You know, to win it down here is special, but uh, I got all the respect in the world for Oregon and, and how they battled. And uh, we, we two teams went out and fought pretty good. Yeah, your closer, Mulholland, has been really solid this year. You had to make a change late. You go to the freshman, Verberg, and he delivers. Uh, what does it say about that young man playing his first Civil War series to come up in that moment? Well, hopefully give him a bunch of confidence. Yeah. You know, one freshman to another freshman. And mulholland has been great. You know, he didn't have it tonight, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, he, um, he definitely has been good for us all year, and he'll be better the next time out. It's also win number 1,000 for you, and I know that that's not top of mind right now, but will there come a moment where you realize what this one means to you and your program? <laughs> I think your players already do. I guess so. Someday it will when I'm sitting around with my family and my grandkids and my beautiful wife, but right now it's all about the club. And, um, you know, I told them that hopefully this is just the beginning and we can continue to play well and, and move on. And talking to you over the last couple of days, I know that a lot of former players do come to mind when you think about all these wins and all the years that it took to get to 1,000. It's unbelievable, and I give the credit to them and the, and the coaches that have helped me and the administrators and the people that believed in me. Uh, you know, we were 19 and 35 the first year we became a conference, and uh, I, I really uh, struggled with that because I was really the one that pushed to get in the South, and so, um, you know, just through hard work, perseverance, been blessed you know, um, to be able to have this job and represent Oregon State University. Lastly, I know there's a lot of baseball ahead for this group, and this is a program that has won national championships, not just Pac-12 titles. So it's too early to put this group into any kind of context. But what do they have the potential to be when it comes to Oregon State baseball? Well, you know, everybody has more potential than they believe. If you believe in yourself, you can do things that you never dreamed of. I always tell these guys the possible and the impossible live right next door to each other, and you just got to decide which one you're going to attack. And, um, you know, obviously this is a special season. Never had a team, you know, have this kind of record, but have also had some great teams. So, uh, like you said, we'll put it all in context when it's all over. 40 wins for your team, 1,000 for you. Congratulations on another Pac-12 championship. Thank you very much. Thank you.